تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آرس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی آصف حنیف فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنس پرائم منسٹر سیز دا گورمنٹ از ٹیکنگ ریولیوشنری اسٹیپس ٹو امپروو گڈ گورننس ان دا کنٹری Advisor on Finance has said maximum number of deserving people will be provided loans under incentive package of the government. 2,521 new cases of coronavirus reported in the country during the last 24 hours, while number of infections across the world has surpassed over 12.8 million. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one Kashmiri youth in Baramula district today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the federal government is taking revolutionary steps to improve the gov- good governance in the country. He was talking to Punjab Law Minister Muhammad Bashar Atraja, who called on him in Islamabad. The Prime Minister said the federal government will extend full cooperation to provincial government in improving good governance. He appreciated the efforts of Punjab government for initiative taken for the welfare of people and improvement in service delivery. Kohala and Azad Patan hydroelectric power projects launched by the federal government will produce 1,800 megawatt electricity and create 8,000 jobs. In a Facebook post on his official page, the Prime Minister Imran Khan has mentioned that Kohala project will be developed at Jhelum River in Azad Kashmir. Similarly, Azad Patan project will be built on the dual boundary between Rawalpindi district of Punjab and Sindhanoti district of Azad Kashmir. The advisor to Prime Minister on Finance, Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, has said that the government has decided to take further measures to enhance easy loan facilities so that maximum number of deserving people are benefited. Talking to media persons in Islamabad, he said the basic purpose of the think tank economy on, is to consider the measures for bringing improvements in the country's economy. The advisor said the think tank has also discussed implementation of incentives provided to the construction industry by the Prime Minister. 2,521 new cases of coronavirus infection were reported in the country during the last 24 hours, taking the tally to 2,48,872. The death toll from the virus has reached 5,197, with 74 more deaths reported over the last 24 hours. 1,56,700 patients stand recovered from the disease. The number of coronavirus cases across the world has surpassed over 12.8 million, while the pandemic has so far claimed more than 5,67,628 lives. The United States is the hard-hit country where cases have reached over 3.3 million and more than 1,37,000 deaths have so far been reported. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one Kashmiri youth in Baramula district today. The youth was martyred by the troops during a cordon and search operation at Riban in Sopor area of the district. Meanwhile, Indian police arrested senior Hurriyat leader and chairman of Tehreek e Hurriyat Jammu and Kashmir, Muhammad Ashraf Sehrai, in Sirinagar today. Muhammad Ashraf Sehrai has been booked under the Draconian Public Safety Act. Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and world over will observe the Kashmir Martyrs Day tomorrow to pay homage to martyrs of July 13, 1931. In occupied Kashmir, the All Parties Hurriyat Conference has appealed to Kashmiri people to mark it by a complete strike in a territory. On the 13th July 1931, the troops of Dogra Maharaja had killed 22 Kashmiris, one after the other outside the central jail in Sirinagar during the court proceedings against one Abdul Qadir who has asked the Kashmiri people to defy the Dogra rule. The APX spokesman in a statement issued in Sirinagar said, On 13th July 1931, when it was time of namaz zohar a young man started to call for prayer but was shot dead by the Maharaja's soldiers. Thus, 22 youth sacrificed their lives till completion of Azan. The spokesman said the aim of strike call is to stress the urgent need for a peaceful and just solution to Kashmir dispute and to end the cycle of oppression against the Hurriyat leaders and the Kashmiri people. The United Nations Security Council has approved eight deliveries to Syria through one border crossing from Turkey. The 15-member council had been deadlocked on the issue over more than one crossing. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our news bulletins on the link facebook.com slash